Hey guys, it's Blaze, and um, I just did a, uh, you'll have to excuse my um, somber note, but I just did a 23 minute video, and it made me restart again. So I'm going to try to do this a little faster this time. Um, this is my Halloween tag video, again. Uh, that I was challenged by my soul sister and my fellow Halloween queen, Lori, um, to do. So, I am in the Halloween spirit. I'm always in the Halloween spirit. Doesn't matter. Uh, I really don't want to do this video all over again, but I have to. So, let's get started. Got my new iPhone 6S the other day. So, I got my Halloween music going on in the background. So, here we go. Question number one. My favorite Halloween movie. Can't pick just one, so I'll pick a few. Uh, the, of course, John Carpenter's original Halloween. Sorry. John Carpenter's original Halloween movie. Um, Rob Zombie's remakes. I love Rob Zombie's all of his movies, but he did a really good job remaking because um, he did a lot of actual background story, which is really cool. So um, he did a great job on those. A Trick or Treat is one of my favorite movies. Um, Hocus Pocus has always been one of my favorite movies since I was a child, and I had a really huge crush on Banks. <laughs> um, and uh, Ginger Snaps. Ginger Snaps is one of my favorite movies also. Like, not just Halloween, just like forever. So, those are my favorite Halloween movies. My favorite, number two, my favorite Halloween candy. I wait literally all year round for Reese's Pumpkins. There are Reese's peanut butter cups that are just shaped like pumpkins, but for some reason they taste so much better as pumpkins. <laughs> I don't know why. But, uh, yeah, those are my favorite Halloween candies. I'm doing this much faster than I did my other video because I'm afraid it's just going to make me do this shit again. I don't want to. So, um, number three. How far would I get if I were in a horror movie? My life is a horror movie. So, 27. <laughs> um, in a cliche horror movie, I think I would last pretty long because um, I pretty much, I, I've done my research and I, I think I've pretty much, uh, you know, gone the mile of uh, seeing the same pattern and I, I think I would just jet the first time um, that anything creepy would happen. So I'd be like the first person out of there. So. <laughs> number three, or that was number three. Number four, sorry, I just told you, I just did a 23 minute video of all of this. So, um, I'm really pissed. Anyway, number four, if someone paid me, would I spend a night in a haunted house? Yes, I would. And you do not have to pay me. Just get me the right equipment where I can record and document everything. So I have proof and I can show people. Like, look, look, look. And um, I'd love to spend the night in a haunted house. Like I said, you don't have to pay me. I just would love to do that. That's awesome. So, number five. What am I dressing up as this year? So, since money is a little tight at the moment, um, I got most of my costume together except for my top and, like, my necklace and earrings. Um, I was going to originally go keep going with my Edgar Allan Poe theme, and I was going to be originally the Telltale Heart, uh, but I might have to settle for going as uh, the Mask of the Red Death, but I'm not sure. Um, both Edgar Allan Poe stuff, so either way, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be kick-ass. You know, it's, it's, it's red and black, so, okay. Number six, what is my favorite Halloween memory? This is going to be really hard to do because um, my favorite Halloween memories, um, me, Michael, and my best friend Josh, we have our group, the three of us, called each other Team Epic Fail, and everybody knows that, um, and uh, we would do annually pumpkin carving. So we would call it Team Epic Fail Pumpkin Carving. So. Since Josh is coming down a little over a week, I'm so excited because uh, I haven't seen my best friend in over a year, and like it's just horrible. 
So um, we are going to be going to a pumpkin patch and pumpkin pink, uh, pumpkin pink, 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 and we're going to pick a third one for Michael, especially. Computer sucks. Anyway, so we're going to pick one for Michael and carve that for him separately. So it'll be kind of like the three of us are together again. And I don't really want to keep on the topic of that because um, I'm dying inside. Okay, so uh, number seven, my best and my worst costumes. Uh, my best costumes were the one I made were myself when I was a bloody nurse when I was 18. That was a pretty cool one. Um, me dressed up as Little Dead Riding Hood one year when I was Little Red Riding Hood, except I, would be, I murdered the wolf. I actually had a, a stuffed animal that I had chopped up and put in a basket and sprayed blood on. Sprayed, obviously, fake blood uh, to make it look like I had chopped it up into pieces. So that was a really fun one to do and fun one to dress up as. And of course, my other favorite would be dressing up um, as Edgar Allan Poe's The Raven. And my and Michael, um, we went as a couple. He was Edgar Allan Poe, where um, he was Edgar Allan Poe as a zombie. And everybody's seen those pictures. So that was another one of my favorites. The worst ones were when the years I. I don't know why. I just didn't dress up at all. Or I wore cat ears. And that was it. There were a few years where I just wore cat ears and that was all I did. And I was like lazy as hell, just like just putting on something on my head and just being like, hey, look, it's Halloween. No, boring. Halloween for some reason only comes once a year, so not for me. But anyway, so that's my best and worst. Um, number eight. How do I get myself into the holiday, or Halloween holiday, huh? Halloween spirit. I'm never not in the Halloween spirit. Halloween for me is a 365 day a year thing. It is a lifestyle. It is not a holiday. I'm even sporting one of my Halloween shirts. My wicked shirts. Where's my necklace? Everything's backwards on this. Okay, so, um... Yeah, I'm never not in the Halloween spirit. Even like around Christmas time, I'm thinking about Halloween. So in the summer, I'm thinking about Halloween every all the time of year. But you know, watching horror movies, watching Halloween movies, watching Halloween specials, things like that are always fun for me. Um, so yeah, number nine. Am I superstitious? Yes, but not in like the way that people like black cats and things like that. Um, black cats are friggin' adorable. I don't know why people think that's like a bad omen. Not like Friday the 13th or anything like that. I was born on Friday the 13th. So uh, maybe that's why it's a that's why it's a cursed day. I don't know. But um, superstitious as in like in this family we knock three times and bite our tongue and and, and has to be wood and we uh, have to do it above our heart. It's like <laughs> we have a lot of rules in this house or in this family when it comes to that kind of thing. So yeah, I'm extremely superstitious, but not in the traditional way. So number 10, to name one thing that's unusual that I'm afraid of. I'm not afraid of anything unusual. I'm just afraid of everything in general. I don't know if that's unusual, but most of my life, everything has scared me. So, I don't know, being around people? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what people would consider unusual as a fear. I, I, I don't have, I mean, certain fears that I have people will say, why are you afraid of that? And then certain people will be like, oh my god, I, I totally can. So it's like, I don't really know if anything that I'm really afraid of is unusual. So, okay. Number 13, do you like to walk through cemeteries? I used to. I used to a lot. I even went on field trips in school for photography class to go and take photography and model in cemeteries. Um, when I was a teenager, mostly, um, I used to love walking through cemeteries. But as I grew a little bit older, to the age of 27 now, um, not really digging cemeteries. I mean. They're very peaceful. They're very quiet. They have a very good 
aura to them because it's just like no one, you know, really cares because, you know, everybody's dead. So, but since, you know, growing up and life happening, um, I try to avoid cemeteries. I don't know. So I, I kind of have mixed feelings about that. So, I don't know. Um, number 14, do I believe in ghosts? Yes. And I do not call them ghosts because that sounds childish. And that's not, they're not ghosts. They are spiritual energies, spiritual entities. I have them. I've been around them. I've seen them. I've heard, heard them, interacted with them. Um, so, yeah, spiritual energies, spiritual entities, absolutely. Yes, I know for a fact, 100, that they exist. So, yes. Number 15, did I ever pull a Halloween prank? Not really. But the closest thing that comes to that, and this is going to be really stupid, <laughs> me, Josh, and Michael, one year, I think in 2012, 2012, right before Hurricane Sandy hit, uh, we had a Halloween party at my house, and we had like 18 cans of Silly String, and we Silly Stringed my own house. <laughs> My father was not happy because he was the one who had to clean it the next day. And apparently Silly String is really hard to clean up. But we had 18 cans of Silly String and we were like, let's just do it. And we had a Silly String fight. So we just Silly Stringed each other and my house. So that's like the closest thing. It's like pranking my own house. I don't know. Um, number 16. Have I ever been a part of or done a seance? When I was a teenager, I'm sure I did a couple, and I think I remember a couple that I actually did in cemeteries, um, but nothing that, like, sticks out as in, like, where anything really happened or anything, like, you know, major. But, yeah, when I was a teenager, like, the typical goth teenager seance kind of crap. Yeah, of course I did. <laughs> I was a goth teenager, so of course I did. Um, almost done. Number, last two questions. Number 17. What is my favorite Halloween song? I have a few, but my favorite Halloween song is This is Halloween from Nightmare Before Christmas, which I don't know if I mentioned in this video or if it was the last video. Um, Nightmare Before Christmas is a 365-day-a-year movie. It doesn't have to be just Halloween. It doesn't have to be just Christmas. That, I watch that every day in the summer spring, autumn, fall, winter, autumn, fall, same thing, whatever. Um, it's always being watched, constantly. Like, um, <laughs> I'm trying to move with this. Jack Skellington, next to Trent Reznor. Nom, 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 nom. Um, and I also love Marilyn Manson, as you can see my Marilyn Manson poster right over y'all. There. I love his version of This is Halloween as well. So I love the original and his version of This is Halloween from Nightmare Before Christmas. Um, I love John Carpenter's Halloween music. It's not really a song. It's just music. Uh, Monster Mash, of course, the classics are great. Um, like Adam Family. Uh, let's see. A Honky Tonk Halloween and uh, Transylvania Terror Train, Time Warp, Sweet Transvestite, those kinds of movies. I mean, not movies, those kinds of songs, but those kinds of movies, yes. But songs, great. No, last question. What is my favorite Halloween symbol? All of them except spiders. <laughs> I hate spiders. Oh my god, I hate all bugs. But anyway, so like skulls, witches, because I'm an actual witch, like for 16 years practicing, which, not like the cartoony Hollywood witches, I mean like, you know, practicing pagan, Wiccan witch, not so much Wiccan anymore, but anyway, uh, witches, black cats, skulls, ghosts, uh, vampires, which I am one. I skipped a few, because I remember there being a question, I skipped a bunch of questions, I thought this one was a little too fast for this one. Um, but yeah, like here, you can see my, uh, 
Halloween string, even though they're going to be up all year long. But I got, what I mentioned in my last video, my Halloween ghost string lights. I'll try to turn them on for you. They're really cute and really pretty. Like I said, they'll be up all year round. <sighs> okay. All right. You have to forgive me. This is my first time using my laptop on this desk tray thing here and not on my bed, which is back there. So that's why it looks different. Um, let's see. What did I miss? Um, would I rather be a zombie or a vampire? Which is really easy because I pretty much call myself a vampire anyway. Uh, so, vampire. Zombies are just walking dead flesh and... and gross looking. They, they're not, they're nothing. So, vampires, they're pale, they're seductive, they're beautiful, they're scary if you watch the right ones, they're funny if you watch the right ones, um, they're intelligent if you watch the right ones, um, just everything about them is just so seductive and just, they're immortal and not like zombie immortal, like where they rot. They they stay physically beautiful forever. And it's just, there's something very attractive that is, like, since I was a tiny little kid, that I've always found attractive about vampires. So, um, was that the only one? Oh, the other one I missed was, would I rather meet a ghost or a werewolf? And since there are no such thing as werewolves, I'm, I, I'm, I'm aware of that. And watch, tonight I'm going to meet one, because that's just my luck. Um, <laughs> I'll meet another ghost, because I meet ghosts all the time. So, what's another one? So, I'll meet a ghost again. Um, did I miss any other ones? I don't think so. I think that is it for this year's 2015 Halloween tag. I am challenging all of my blazers and my fellow Halloween freaks and hello queens, whether you be female or male, I don't care, to do this tag. Um, it doesn't necessarily have to be in the order I did it because um, I messed up because, like I said, this is my second video and I am really pissed that my first video did not take. Oh well. Um, but anyway, so if you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Um, any requests for new videos, I'm always ears on Facebook, on Instagram, and on here. Um, no nasty comments or I will have you reported, blah, 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 blah. You guys all know everything. So I hope you guys have the happiest and spookiest and creepiest of Halloweens, even though I'll probably be back on here like at least once or twice before Halloween, but you know, it's a Halloween video. So um, if I'm not, have the best Halloween ever. Yes. And like I said, Josh is coming to visit, and even though it's only for a few days, so um, I plan on I, this is gonna be good. So, uh, see, this is when I would like fight and knock, but you know, I'm doing a video, and the closest thing to wood is like over there. So, anyway, uh, stay wicked, stay wicked, and I will talk to my blazers later.